Awesome. Yeah. Sandesh, yeah. thank you so much for chatting with me today. Yeah, uh, nice to meet you, Shobhit, after a long time. Yeah. Yeah. So, so uh, excited to get into your experience with the Intentional Job Search Program, all the amazing things that have happened, the things that you went through. And look, uh, people who are watching this, they're often considering, hey, what is Intentional Job Search? Should I enroll? Should I talk to Shobhit? All those sort of things. So that's going to be your your audience as we, as we go about it. Um, Cool. So to begin, why don't you tell us a bit about yourself? Sure, Shobit. So uh, I'm a product manager currently working at uh, Mashrik New, which is a, a new bank in the MENA region situated at Dubai. Mm -hmm. So I'm the, I take care of the product development, I'm the app management, building the new cool features for the new banking team uh, and managing the roadmap and building new cool stuff which will cater to the demands of the new market. So yeah, that's what I currently do. Love it. Love it. And uh, before that, I am just like a, a typical product manager. So a comp science engineer who had spent a couple of engineers in coding and then got into uh, an MBA from IIM and then got into multiple jobs and eventually switched to a product management domain. Yeah. And, and just for folks who don't know, IM is uh, Indian Institute of Management, which is the top MBA program in India. Just just yeah. so you know yeah. where where, yeah. where where Sandesh came from. Cool. Yes. So, so Sandesh, tell us first of all, um, what... Uh, sorry, Shobit, I just couldn't hear the last question yeah yeah so, so so sandesh why don't you tell us what brought you over to intentional product manager yeah so yeah that's a great question so uh, so i was working in dubai and then i was doing fairly well but then uh, the market had limited opportunities so i was trying to explore uh, considering my background in uh, a computer science engineering and an mba i thought i always thought uh, my true calling is in tech company and uh, I think the current market had limitations. The market, the Dubai market and the UAE MENA market doesn't have many opportunities within UAE itself for the tech companies. Uh, although there are a few companies which are acquired, like Amazon has a presence through acquisition of Souk. Uh, mm. Uber has a presence through acquisition of Kareem, but those are far and few and the tech roles are really limited. So I thought, uh, why not? Uh, why, why not to expand uh, and uh, this was before COVID. So uh, I was trying to explore things which are working outside uh, UA, uh, especially in the markets of Europe and Singapore. So I was applying to different roles in these markets. Sometimes recruiters were reaching out to me uh, to have that chat, either in roles in Singapore or Germany or uh, Amsterdam. So these were the typical markets recruiters were reaching out. I was giving on and off interviews and I was, I was not uh, focusing on, uh, uh, I mean, so I was not dedicated enough to crack those because I was doing fairly well and that killer instinct was missing, to be honest. So I was just applying and then in the thinking that it might get clicked. So some places I reached like almost like five to six interviews. So this was a uh, start of like 2020 before COVID hit. So I had like two, three good companies, FinTech and big tech companies. But then uh, eventually I used to get rejected. And when I used to ask them for a feedback uh, hmm. that, hey, I'm interested in these companies, but uh, can you help me tell the feedback where I lacked or where I can improve so that I can target them? Because, uh, because that's what I was curious to know because I was getting rejected with standard automated template mailer saying, hey, thank you for interviewing with us. You can try again, let's say six months or 12 months down the line. But nobody told me that what is missing in me, which I can improve or what is uh, what is the one thing which the recruiter or the company is looking out for the prospective candidates. So that was the missing link. Uh, and then uh, uh, one fine day, like a stroke of luck. So I saw one post on LinkedIn, uh, which was posted by you. And then this piqued my interest. Uh, hey, this guy is talking about something which is which resonates with me. Hmm. Although I was I, I was not doing it intentionally that because uh, I was just casually applying to companies and not doing it intentionally. And maybe that's why 
I was not focused enough uh, to crack those big roles. So that's how mm-hmm. I landed up. For, uh, and then I set up for a quick call with Shobit. And then uh, what they say, rest all is history. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I love that. And uh, yeah. I mean, you, you, you know, it was also a, a difficult time. I mean, COVID was on mm-hmm. and uh, everything was, was going haywire. The market was very different than today when we are recording it. I mean, COVID still around, but uh, yeah. the market is, is definitely different. Um, so I'm curious, you, know, you, you, you saw the LinkedIn, we spoke, like what convinced you to pull the trigger? Like, was there something internal, something you wanted that, that convinced you to just, okay, this is it. I'm, I'm committing, I'll be part of the program and I'm gonna do whatever it takes to, to land the next big opportunity. Yeah, no, first of all, I must say that uh, you're, the, you're the one person who is like, has the greatest convincing power in the world whoever i met so, so like uh like i still remember the day and my wife is still sitting here and she will uh, she can comment on this so when i had that call with you like a quick half an hour chat this was late november i believe yeah. and uh, it was immediately after diwali so uh, uh diwali is the like the festival of lights in india so and uh so i had that call and then i barged in from uh uh, my previous room to living room and ask her where is my credit card i just need it so so i asked her and she was like why do you need a credit card now what are you purchasing so she knows how how uh, i don't spend much money to be honest and even if I, if i am buying a t-shirt or anything i visit like 10 stores to buy my favorite shirt so and she was like i told that hey i need to pay this month this sum of money so she was like are you mad or something so <laughs> So, uh, and how can you trust someone who is, who are you meeting like for the first time? And then, then I told her, Hey, he, I'm still on the call, although you're muted, but then I'll explain you later. That's mm-hmm. what I, and she testified this and she's laughing and how I'm saying this. <laughs> so, yeah, so that's how I, and then I just entered the details and signed up for it. But then jokes apart, what really resonated with me was one thing. You said the things uh, which I was exactly looking for because I was interviewing uh, with no direct, I mean, I was receiving feedback from recruiter, which was not direct, first of all. Mm. Uh, it it was, it didn't have any actionable, means although I interviewed at fairly decent companies, which are like mid-size, not the big techs, not the FANG, but those were like fairly well companies, like almost like billion dollar revenue and all, but they yeah. were not to give me a succinct feedback which i can improve upon so although there were valid concerns like visa sponsorship was limited because of covid but then at least they can tell me uh, hey you can improve on these things you did bad here you did good here so that was missing and uh, and another important point so i was doing it all alone so i was looking for that uh, a, a direct feedback and a kind of a community which will help me improve and which are in the same boat like me. So sometimes it tends to be a lone journey. So it it took me back to, uh, and I was thinking that uh, when I cracked a CAT, so the admission, uh, the entrance exam, which helped, which fetched me admission for Indian Institute of Management. At that time, I was not a loner. So I was working with my friends uh, who were staying in the same apartment. So, and we were doing in a group. So I thought that, hey, that worked uh at least almost like 10 years back so why can't i try something like a group study or something which will keep me motivated and help me crack that big role got it got it love it i you know i i, I love that so um yeah. so so t- tell us about okay you 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 committed and you know like I, I i think one of the the things of people that do commit is that they they realize that their career is a long game and there's just so much they can like so much next level that they can get to and you clearly recognize that you were like yep i'm going for it i'm gonna go do big things so tell us when you started the program like for you initially what were the first few breakthrough moments where you were like oh wow this is new and this is something that i'm learning from a lot what were like some of the biggest uh, early victories for you i think the biggest early victory i think i think we signed up on uh... 
the third week of november and then uh, the day uh, uh, so when i signed up you mentioned i asked you at the end that hey can we apply for google so you were like and at that time you were working in google so you said hey let's apply it right away uh, yeah. and you had a quick glance at my cv and then you said hey it's all good and let's apply let's give it a try so you asked for me like a couple of links where i was relevant enough so and i i must admit so i had applied previously but i had never got tested success even to get the first recruiter screen and immediately like uh, one week later i was speaking to the google recruiter so that was the first wow. instance of this so uh, credit where it's due so obviously it, uh, you had written really nice words in the ref- uh, in the referral so that's how i landed up that recruiter screen and then eventually that was my first major crack and then google pm interview for zurich location uh, happened so that took like almost two months so that was the first win uh, mm. yeah yeah love it and yeah. and then as you went on like let's just let's just do the big reveal where are you headed uh, sandesh at the time we are we are recording just so everyone yeah. knows what what are you going to be doing next Hey, so yeah, thanks to you, Sam, and the entire uh, IPM community. So I'll be heading to London, uh, my dream location, and I'll be joining the Fang company, which is Amazon. And uh, to top it up, so I'll I'll not be leaving my domain which I was working with. So I was working in a fintech domain within a bank. So I'll be joining the fintech domain within uh, Amazon. I will be joining their payments and customer experience team. Uh, this is a senior product manager technical role. Uh, the thing which I really loved, uh, which I le- learned ten years back, and uh, this is for an international expansion role uh, based out of London. Yeah, that is so phenomenal, so exciting. I'm so happy for you that you 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 did all the work required to land this role, and uh, yeah, it's 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 the location you wanted, uh, getting paid really well. Fang company, Amazon, and I, I loved how you also leverage your domain expertise, which sometimes people miss. Which is that, hey, I've spent all this time. I have this industry knowledge. How can I be one leg up? And you very successfully yeah. did that. Yeah. So that was one thing which I really uh, wanted to uh, tap on because something which I spent years on working, I actually wanted to solve the problems uh, at a global scale because. Uh, all previous to this i was working with one of the largest banks in india uh, but uh, and here i was working with one of the largest banks in ua but then uh, i wanted to make it to the next level wherein the things i am building on impact the lives of millions so and amazon is uh, positioned to do that because and amazon pay is one of the uh, it is has already tested success in multiple markets so this is something which I, I was really passionate about even though i was not working with amazon i was really passionate about something which worked from in, uh, which came from india and which was scaled out to the outside world so uh, something coming from india and then scaling out so that was something which i was really passionate and i'll be working on such products so uh, that's like icing on the cake love it that's exciting um, yeah. so so tell tell us you know like it, as you you've gotten to amazon wh- what are some of the top things that really helped you to to land this amazing opportunity yeah so uh, like there were, were quite a few things but then uh, three things which come to my mind uh, first thing was a direct feedback so uh, that was one thing uh, so uh, i was interviewing for so many places at one time but then direct feedback so whenever i was making mistakes so it's good to make mistakes when you are practicing with folks uh, rather than making mistakes in the actual interview so the direct feedback was really uh, was the one thing which really helped me uh, second thing was uh, because uh, i was practicing with folks uh, who are like minded and in the same boat like me so uh, i learned uh, uh, the mistakes which i can avoid when the d day comes Hmm. so that i learned from uh, when i had the different uh, mock interview practices with the folks and as well as the sessions with you and sam so uh, mistakes i avoided and third thing was the the community itself so like i uh, like i mentioned at the start so i was not a loner this time so whatever i i was really happy when somebody cracked a big job and i was equally sad when somebody missed it so 
because all of us were in the same boat of cracking that illusive goal of uh, a fang job so uh, i made like i made like really good friends and now they are like uh, best friends so like that was the close knit community was the third thing so like direct feedback mistakes to avoid and the close knit community so those three will be my top picks yeah and you know like i, I want to recognize that you learned a lot from the from the community you also gave back and you continue to to give back you are now helping people land their, land their uh, amazon things and and since you know since you got your offer two other people have landed uh, also offers at amazon and they have mentioned you as hey this sandesh really helped me out and in, in uh, my preparation and all the advice and everything so it's really about the community and and what we are building and how passionate are about people helping each other i think it really makes a huge difference yeah yeah so uh, in these times it's uh, it's absolutely critical to help each others because these are like desperate times and people are struggling to make ends meet so i mean i happy to contribute my two cents uh, in and enjoying those uh, moments love it so yeah. sandesh you know for people who are watching this video and you know they these might be people who are checking out intention job search they are they might have even spoken to me maybe not what what message would you or what messages would you give them uh i again like like this is the thing which i learned from you so i'll have three things to say to them <laughs> so um, yeah so uh, first of all uh, stop doing this all kind of certifications first of all so if you are already doing a product management job uh, you already have you already know how to manage a product roadmap how to build new products how to uh, manage your team so these are the things which are which we already know so uh, don't spend money and do, i would suggest uh, rather don't waste your money on doing certifications because those will not help you crack no big company ask you certifications so none of the interviewers so i almost interview at every big company and nobody ask me which certification you did so first thing don't waste your money on certification second thing uh, don't take this cost as a huge investment cost because eventually if you uh, like if i use my mba jargon so if you calculate the li- li- lifetime value of the investment so it will be much higher so uh, don't take this as like you're spending a hefty amount of money right now and uh, it to be honest it's not a hefty sum because the the jobs which will be cracking will be much bigger and this will be like not even 1% of what you will be getting eventually so don't take this as an uh, uh, a huge investment to begin with and third thing will be uh, the community so uh, so sometimes uh, you uh, so you will find ample uh, channels where you can practice with peers and all but the but the first thing is uh, uh, breaking the ice is, becomes difficult and that honest feedback also it becomes transactional so uh, it doesn't uh, it doesn't come natural because that close knit community brings that honest feedback uh, yeah. but if you are doing like a transactional thing so let's say uh, i would not name a uh, few websites which are there which which uh, do these kind of uh, mock interview practices and it's a mar- it's a complete market there but then uh, that transactional relationship doesn't yield uh, in you reaching that elusive goal so uh, yeah Uh, that would be my third point so a close knit community is what uh, makes you stronger and uh, uh, makes you crack those um, big dreams agreed and and you know like i've i've seen some of the feedback that comes out and people are trying to be too nice to each other and they're not able to deliver that feedback in both a setting that in a way that it's the brutal truth but it also doesn't just shatter your confidence completely so there yeah and that only comes with like when you're working with the same people over and over again yeah. and you see that that uh, that improvement yeah it's uh, like a, and if i may if i may just add one last point so oh yeah, it's, so like, far. it's like it's uh, like uh, working in a family so like if you are in a family uh, you can say things uh, without any inhibitions without any biases and you can tell it uh, honestly but if you are uh, if you are interviewing like you know different websites so there it will be more of a transactional people will say nice things and it will not help you grow 
so if you are making mistakes it needs to be told up front so it's like family so if you make mistakes uh, like we when we were small kids so our, our mom or dad used to scold us because so that we improve and don't make those mistakes so it's like that so it's all in good jest and which will help you make crack those uh, big dreams love it love it sandesh thank you so much for your time thank you for sharing your experience with others i think this is what gives people the confidence to take the leap and and follow their dreams and go after go after something big and i'm so excited for you both for uh the amazon job moving to london all the exciting things coming your way as well as continuing to working together on in the next phase of your career yeah yeah really happy for uh... all the expertise and advice i received from the community and uh, i'm happy to pay it back to the community as well so yeah yeah you might still see sandesh when you're there uh, yeah. when you're part of intentional yeah. job search yeah Great. yes yeah. thank you sandesh thank you shobhit